Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday, June 30th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. Uh, our focus this week, we kind of started last Sunday, is uh, is on this this wonderful song by Chris Tomlin. And, and if you remember, the opening lines go like this. Do you feel the world is broken? And, and it asks us to answer. We do. Huh? Do you feel the shadows deepen? And again, asks us to answer. We do. Do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through? And we do. We know Jesus is with us. And the thing that sets us apart for me is then he says, you wish that you could see it all made new. We do. And and so this is what Jesus has come to do, to redeem and restore all things, to make all things new. And it's happening right now in this New Testament era. Uh, and, and it will come to its full fruition when Jesus comes in all of his glory. Uh, uh, yesterday, we we uh, as we began this the, this reading from chapter 5 of the book of Revelation, we, we saw what was going on there, that, that people are looking everywhere uh, to someone to open the scroll, that is, to, to make things new, to, to fix the brokenness and the shadows. And, and no one can do it. There's, it can't be done by anyone but Jesus. And we look all around and we end up in tears and despair um, and darkness and shadows, and it deepens. Um, and yet Jesus has come, the light of the world. He's the one. He can open the scroll. That is, he can carry out God's plan for the redemption and restoration of all things. And so we're going to read about how this, uh, these verses in Revelation describes him now. Okay, here we go. We're going to, it's chapter five still. We're uh, just, we're going to go with verse six, I think six through eight, something like that. All right, so here we go. Then I saw a lamb, uh, and Jesus, of course, is the lamb slain before the foundation of the earth, the Bible says, right? So you know this is talking about Jesus. And he's the lamb that went the way to the cross, right? So then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, all right? Uh, I, what did that look like? I don't know what that looked like. But looking as if it had been slain, standing in the center of the throne. So you have the Father and the Son, Jesus, right? The triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. They sit on the throne. <laughs> uh, it's not one-third plus one-third plus one-third. It's one plus one plus one equals one. There's a mystery of, of the essence of God, uh, and that's always given me strength because if God's essence, essence is beyond my mind, I think I'm in trouble, right? So, so here is, is Jesus, and, and it's, it's showing him now. The symbology is, is the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world who sits on the throne, rules all things, right? In the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures, uh, uh, probably the seraphim and cherubim, you know, uh, and the elders, which represents all of God's people here. Uh, and and we're, we're praising God, right? Uh, he had, he had. This is Jesus. He had seven horns. Horns is always a symbol of power, right? So at seven, the number of completeness and the number of God working with with humankind, right? So this is this is the all powerful one who is going to break the seals uh, and do what needs to be done for the re redemption and restoration of of all the earth. Uh, and, and seven eyes. Uh, which are, sees everything, which are the seven spirits of God sent into all the earth. This is the Holy Spirit. Seven is the number for completion. And, and so uh, the Bible tells us, that, what did Jesus say? When, when I ascend into heaven, when, I, when I'm glorified, I will send the Spirit. And what will the Spirit do? It says in the Gospel of John, he will testify of Jesus. So this is the gospel ministry of the Holy Spirit uh, proclaiming uh, the reality of Jesus Christ to the whole world. How does he do that? Through you and me. For you and me. This is happening right now. It began when Jesus came, when he says the kingdom of God is here, right? And it continues uh, as, as the Spirit of God moves us, right? Came down upon us in Pentecost uh, and continues. Um, and then it, it says here, uh, he came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. He took the scroll. Why? He can carry it out. He's the one, see? We look to all different other saviors and they all disappoint us, but this one won't. Uh, he took the scroll, see? He came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, uh, uh, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each one had 24, um, 12 Old Testament tribes, 12 apostles, right? 12 disciples. It's a symbol for all of God's people of all time, all who have believed in the blood of the lamb uh, for the forgiveness of their sins and, and look to live their lives in him. Come follow me, Jesus said, right? Uh, each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints, the prayers of those who, um, who God has declared holy through faith in Jesus Christ, right? Um, and, and, this is, and this is where we're going. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, and they sang a new song. So the prayers of the saints, what are, what's one of those prayers? Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. 
It's what's happening right now in the New Testament era. As the Spirit of God is bringing the gospel to all people through us. See? Prayers of the saints. Prayers of God's people. You are worthy, the, the Lamb, to take the scroll and to open its seals. You can do this. You can carry it out. No one else can. Why? Because you were slain. And with your blood you purchased men for God, men for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. Um, this, this is the one. Died, rose again, all powerful, um, sees everything, sends his spirit out with his with the, the empowering message to touch the hearts of people to come to faith in him, who is working right now to redeem and restore all things, who will finally uh, bring it all to fruition. There will be no more brokenness, no more shadows, no more pain. Um, he'll wipe every tear from our eyes, right? Uh, and we'll w live with him forever in a brand new heavens and earth. I wanted to read this uh, to close this. This is from the song. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? Who can do that, see? The Lion of Judah who conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Here we go, from every people, tribe, every nation and tongue, he has made us a kingdom and priest to God to reign with his son. Would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, um, we pray that we might see this reality, that even now, even though it seems like the darkness is growing and the brokenness is all around us, we pray that you would keep us from the place of despair and tears, uh, thinking there's no one with us and living like it, but rather seeing that you're the one and that you have conquered past tense through your death and through your resurrection. Uh, and, and even now you have given us your spirit uh, to, to join you on your ongoing mission to redeem and restore all things to touch people with this kingdom that you would have each of us be a part of. We pray, Lord, that, um, that we might live in this light and in this certain hope uh, that you, even now you are redeeming and restoring all things, and soon uh, you will come in all of your glory uh, and, and, and everything will be done in you. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow yet. May God be with you. Bye-bye.